Hey guys, for today's product spotlight, we wanted to do an in-depth video on the EcoDrift pumps by Aquamedic. If you have been looking for a detailed explanation on these pumps and their controller, look no further. I kind of wanted to switch things up here on Salt Supply and use my personal tank since I'm currently running the EcoDrifts on it. For those of you that follow my personal channel, Thomas Vision Reef, you've seen the previous video I did on today's feature product, the EcoDrifts. I am currently running two EcoDrift 8.0s on my 90 gallon aquarium. Okay, so one EcoDrift 8.0 is rated for a 210 gallon tank, and I have two of these beasts on my 90 gallon, so it's a little overkill. Let's first talk about something that may be obvious to some of you. Straight off the bat, you may notice that these pumps look like another pump on the market, the Jabail. According to Aquamedic, they work with Jabail to release this pump, so it shouldn't be too surprising that they look similar. However, looks can be deceiving, as Aquamedic has made a lot of improvements to their version. In my opinion, these pumps are equivalent to putting a Lamborghini engine into an eco-friendly Honda Civic. Basically, you get lower power consumption, lots of power, and less noise. Again, I currently have two EcoDrift 8.0s, and they each produce an impressive flow from 1,000 to over 2,000 gallons per hour. And power-wise, they consume between 8 and 20 watts. And so you can make sure you're getting the right flow, the pumps have a 180-degree swivel head. This is one of the quietest pumps out there. It was specially designed to reduce noise and vibration. This is because Aquamedic added several rubber mounts to decrease noise in the pumps. I personally believe because the EcoDrift lacks high vibrations that that would only add to the pump's longevity because you don't have all those parts bumping around. Price wise, it's gonna be hard to beat these pumps based on the power you're getting from it. For the 8.0, you're gonna pay around $118. The other EcoDrift models that Salt Supply currently carry are the 4.0, 15.0, and 20.0. Let's move on to a detailed explanation on the EcoDrift controller. First off, the pump's controller has seven main modes. However, when you use the modes in combination with the modes S1, S2, and S3, you get 10 modes altogether. Let's start with P100 to P50, which are your standard power modes. P100 means you have a continuous flow rate at 100%, so you are using the maximum power of the controller. P75 means you have a continuous flow at 75%, and P50 means you have a continuous flow at 50%. W1 to W3 are your wave modes. S1 to S3 are your speed modes, and this dial is to control the pulse frequency. W1 is going to be used in combination with S1, S2, and S3. So you would set the controller to W1 to activate the pump's wave mode. Now this is where S1 and S3 come into play. You will set the controller to S1 if you would like the pump's strength to be at 100% flow rate, S2 for the pump's strength to be at 75% flow rate, and S3 for 50% flow rate. You can then adjust the dial to make the pulse frequency faster or slower. W2 and W3 are both at 100% flow rates. With W2, the pump flow will slowly build up from 0% to 100% and then slowly decrease to 0%. Last but not least, we have W3. With W3, the pump's flow will quickly build up from 0% to 100% and then slowly decrease from 100% to 0%. The random settings will, of course, make the pump go through the random settings. This will be good settings if you have lots of detritus buildup, as this will go through all the power and wave settings randomly. One of my favorite features of this pump is the light sensor. Basically, you run this cord to the back of your tank, so when your lights cut off at night, the pumps will reduce their flow to 50% and go into night mode. Once your lights come back on the next day, the pumps will return to their original settings. The controller also has a feed mode. To activate the feed mode, hold the mode button for five seconds. The pump will then decrease its flow and go into feed mode for 10 minutes. If you decide that you wanna cancel the feed mode, just hold the feed mode button for another five seconds to cancel it. The controller's speed lock prevents accidental program changes. Just hold the speed slash lock button for five seconds to lock in your settings. 
Hold it again for another five seconds to cancel the speed lock. Here are some additional details that you might like to know. Aquamatic recommends that you place these pumps at least four inches beneath the water surface to prevent the pump from pulling air. The maximum depth for these pumps is about 40 inches. The magnets for these pumps are crazy powerful, so be careful not to get your fingers stuck in between them. The plus side to them being powerful is that you don't really have to worry about the pumps falling into your tank. Lastly, the pump has a ceramic bearing which may take a few days to break in, so the noise levels may be higher than usual while you're breaking the pumps in. If you guys have any additional questions about the EcoDrift controllers, just leave your questions in the comment section below. If you would like to try out one of these bad boys or get additional specs on them, go to the link in the description or visit SaltySupply.com. Salty Supply, operated by hobbyists for hobbyists.